Activision Call of Duty WW2 experienced server issues over the weekend Call of Duty WW2 server issues could be a thing of the past thanks to Sledgehammer's latest update. Call of Duty WW2 fans endured a frustrating opening weekend, as connection issues took multiplayer down and prevented many from playing online. Sledgehammer issued a number of fixes over the weekend, culminating in an update that appears to have solved the server problems. The Call of Duty WW2 developer claims the problem was caused by the extremely high number of players attempting to log in over the weekend. At launch, we experienced an extremely high volume of players connecting to our servers in a very short window, Sledgehammer explained. This resulted in players experiencing mixed, online connectivity across all platforms. In response, we pushed a change enabling higher capacity load balancers, resulting in improved live connectivity. Reports of server problems have decreased since Sunday afternoon, so the fixes appear to have worked. Saturday, August 19, 2017 Call of Duty WW2 Headquarters Call of Duty WW2's server issues don't appear to have negatively affected sales on PS4 and Xbox One. The new Call of Duty has soared to the top of the video game charts, replacing Assassin's Creed Origins in first place. Even better news for Activision is that sales are up by nearly 60% on last year's entry. Call of Duty WW2 sold 57% more copies than Infinite Warfare in its opening week on sale. Revenue is also up 21% year-on-year. The chart doesn't factor in download sales, which should give the game an even bigger sales boost. Call of Duty WW2 developer Sledgehammer has reinstated headquarters. Sledgehammer deactivated leaderboards and made headquarters a solo experience after a weekend of server issues. Headquarters will return to its fully populated, shared experience shortly. In the meantime, you can invite your friends to join your HQ experience at any time. Also, rest assured, your leaderboard stats are being recorded and stored, and leaderboard data will be reflected soon. True to its word, Sledgehammer appears to have reintroduced headquarters on PS4, Xbox One and PC. The company is yet to officially confirm the fix, so there could be issues while things are being tested.